Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. If your Windows 11 or Windows computer freezing randomly and sometimes it also crashes, then this tutorial is for you. We will be doing only three simple steps to fix this problem and in 99% cases, it will be fixed. So please make sure you watch the whole video and perform the steps in sequence wise so that we can fix it. So what happens when we have some errors in the drive, when we have some bad sectors in the hard drive, then also we uh, get the computer crashing or computer randomly freezes. So I'm working right now and suddenly the whole computer get frozen. It is really very annoying and I can understand your pain. So we will fix this problem. So for that, you just need to open that file explorer. I'll just explore it. And here we need to go to this PC. Now this will work on Windows 10 and Windows 11 both, so no worries. Now once this is open, select your C drive or whatever the drive where you have your operating system installed. So I'll just do a right click and I'll go to properties. So once you're here in the properties, we need to go to this tools section. Here we need to go to the tools and then we need to go to this error checking. Error checking, this option will check the hard drive for file system errors. So here, we just need to click on this and you will get a new window. You don't need to scan this drive. We haven't found any errors on this drive, but still we can scan it and it might take four or five minutes or maybe 10 minutes. So I can see it says about 20 seconds remaining and we'll wait if we get any. So I can see it's one minute, 15 seconds. So overall, it might take two to three minutes to scan the whole computer. Once this is done, you need to restart the computer. It is very important that after doing the scan for error checking, if your computer is freezing, then restart the computer after this step. Once this is done, I can see your drive was successfully scanned. Windows successfully scanned the drive. No errors found. So in your case, you might get errors in your computer. And once this is done, then just click on the search icon and type CM. And guys, please select only run as administrator. If you open it, it won't work. So we need to run as administrator. And once we do it, it will ask us to say yes. If we run as administrator, we see C Windows System 32. Else we will we will get C users account like that. So please make sure you get this window. And here we need to type SFC space forward slash scan now. I'll just maximize it so that you can copy this command. Now this is a very uh, effective system file checker command, which you can type it and we just need to click on hit enter. So begin the system scan. It might take 10 or maybe five minutes to scan the whole computer. However, the best part is if there is anything, any errors or any glitch in the computer, this will be fixed with this command. Once this is done, it is very important to restart the computer. And once this is done, then we will move to the final step which is a very common step, but most of us forget it. So click on the search icon and type Windows Update and you will find Windows Update settings. Now, please make sure that you are up to date. You have got all the latest updates in your computer because in 80 to 90% cases, we don't update the Windows and we get so many problems in the Windows. So please make sure you uh, click on check for updates and update the whole computer, restart it. Even it will automatically restart after update. And once this is done, see the performance, check if everything is working fine. You can also do one more thing here. That's, that's a bonus tip here in Windows Security, Windows Defender, open it and go to virus and threat protection and do a quick scan of Windows security. So in this manner, if you have any viruses or any kind of malwares, which is creating a problem in the PC, that will be also fixed. 
So I hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial. If yes, please hit the like and subscribe. And guys, if your computer is running slow, you can watch the tutorial at the end of this video in the end screen. That will be very helpful and that is very popular as well. So goodbye, take care.